Okay, so I apologize in advance for my lumberjack shirt, but I'm running out of clothes in Massachusetts. Like, I just don't have that many winter clothes anymore. <laughs> okay, and I just want to share this. I got this for Christmas because I love Barbies, but look, she meditates and she like says stuff. Listen. My cousin was like, you need that. You need that Barbie. You need to breathe, girl. You're a spaz. My cousin. Anyway, I love it. So I'm fully acclimated <laughs> in my lumberjack shirt and my yoga Barbie to uh, Boston now. So for my next little bit that I'll be here, I've got some great um, people I'm interviewing on Dishing Drama Dana. I'm so excited um, coming up because of my uh, proximity to so many amazing, uh, you know, celebrities down here. There are a few, yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, you know, a reality stars, whatever. Anyway, so got some really juicy shows coming up. Oh, and, la and the last two weeks were, oof, ask anybody, they were epic. They were like Oscar winning podcast episodes the last two weeks. I mean, really like epic stuff. You can't find out anywhere else. So anyway, um, that said, let's get into this video. Please, if you like uh, this channel, subscribe, like, and hit the notification button so that I get in the algorithm and people find my channel. Yay, Gordana. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I apologize for my New Year's um, really messy message. I was drinking margaritas by myself watching Paris and Love and it just was so messy. I was messy. So Larsa was bragging on The Real Housewives of Miami that she had an OnlyFans that was bringing in like 10,000 a month and she had 2,200 followers on OnlyFans. So I went to see if it was like true or not because I was like, really? And a lot of people say to me all the time, oh, you don't know how much money you can make on OnlyFans, whatever. So I went and I saw her feed and she had like a bunch of posts, there were some free, and there were some people who were tipping her like 20 bucks or 50 bucks. I didn't see like huge numbers, but whatever. You know, I'm like, who knows, maybe a lot of people are unlocking her posts. Well, I decided to sign up for her OnlyFans and see like, how is she engaging these people and getting them to follow her? And so guess what I found out? Well, all of this was fine until I started getting these really weird messages from Larsa. Okay, let me tell you some of them. She says, babe, do you like when I send you videos? I'm missing you. What are you up to tonight? And then she sent me like a thing to unlock. And then she said, um, I'm ready for Christmas with you. Me, Larsa? That's so nice. She says, happy holidays, babe. I'm thinking of you. So I was like, oh my God, Lars is into me. Then she wrote me, Merry Christmas, love. Good morning, sunshine. She even followed up like the next morning. How was your Christmas? I didn't know she cared so much. Babe, how's your Sunday? And she says, I'm about to work out. And then she sent me um, a happy Monday uh, video. Let me see what it said. I didn't even read it yet. Okay, I'm gonna play it for you, what she sent me. Oh my gosh. How's your Monday? What um are you up to tonight? Well, Larsa, why? Do you wanna come over? <laughs> oh, that wasn't even the best of it. It keeps going. Then she sent like she was dancing like this. Wow. But she did write a nice note under that video. Hi, baby. I've been, I've had a busy morning. Gonna work out. What are you doing? Oh, I, I mean. Baby, how are you? What, um, what are you doing for New Year's this year? I still don't know what I'm doing. I wish we were together for New Year's Eve. Um, okay, then she says to me, she sends me this text and she's like, I'm getting ready to take a bath. Wish you were here. And I was like, Larsa is so sweet. You want me to take a bath with you and everything. But I kind of feel like, wow, you're flirting with me. Are you trying to like turn me on or make me believe that you think that I'm your, uh, or you're my girlfriend? 
All right, so I'm just gonna tell it like it is. Of course, I know that Larsa isn't trying to ask me out and she sends that message to everyone. But I just thought it was so crazy that she's just assuming that every single person on her OnlyFans that she was saying on Real Housewives of Miami was like an, like an elaborate Instagram was really trying to be a seduction, like a sex thing, totally. Like she was trying to be like, you know, make the guys, I guess that's her demographic, believe that she's into them by sending these like generic, like I want your sex uh, text messages and stuff, you know? And Lord knows what's in the locked uh, pictures because when you join her OnlyFans, it's free, right? But then after, you, you know, then you pay to like see her stuff, right? But I just think, wow, like Larsa, so Larsa isn't, um, I guess, posting naked pictures or posting pornographic videos, but she is definitely selling sex that she is you know, into you and that that's why you are a member of her OnlyFans, which is not what she says on Real Housewives of Miami. And in fact, she makes a big deal out of how that isn't what her OnlyFans is. So I just thought you guys would want to know and I thought it was really funny. I said, let me just put on the hat like I don't know that this is like a mass text message and pretend like I really believe that she's writing this to me and what like put myself in that headspace. And I was like, wow, Larsa, like... <laughs> Getting hot in here, honey. <laughs> I wonder how Scotty Pippen feels about this. You know, OnlyFans she's doing that her, you know, she has kids, you know, with him. So he he wrote her a text message. They put it on the show um, that said, go ahead and keep talking to these losers. Um, when she was dating this guy named Malik uh Beasley, who got 90 days in jail. Um, who's, who is I that? I agree with Scotty Pippen. This Malik guy's whatever. NBA. Okay, so that's good. But he was dating Larsa while still with another woman. And then on top of it, um, you know, he, you know why he went to jail? He got sentenced to jail for 120 days. He only served, I guess, 90 of it for good behavior. But he pointed, a, I think, a real gun at a family parked in his driveway and told them to piss off. And they thought it was a real threat. And he got a felony criminal threat charge. I mean, yeah, thank goodness that didn't last long with Larsa. But, you know, how is she going to ever get a good guy with an OnlyFans where she's literally like, if she has 2,200 followers, she's like pretending to sleep with all of them. It's just, you know. It's definitely not a good formula for like a quality relationship. What is this what it comes down to? And she, and said, she, she said she has no bad blood with Kim Kardashian or any of the Kardashians, but I don't totally believe her. Do you believe her? I don't know. Larsa seems to have fallen from grace a little bit. I'm not sure Kim would be friends with her. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Do you think Kim Kardashian would still want to be associated with Larsa? Maybe Real Housewives of Miami is helping a little. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just going to keep uh, tonight. I'm just going to pretend that Larsa is really madly in love with me and it's going to make me feel really good about myself. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you like this video, like subscribe and press the, press the notification button. <laughs> Let me know what you think about all this OnlyFans stuff. Oh goodness. With Larsa.